today on Divorce Court. Mike and myself, we got together based off opposite attractions. We found everything intriguing, and those opposites brought us here today because now we're clashing. Leslie and I have different lifestyles. She's a party animal, and I'm not. I wish that he would change his ways because he's cheap, he's boring, and I'm just fed up with not getting no kind of attention when it comes to the romance. I love Leslie, and I'm here willing to work on our issues for the sake of our marriage and our kids. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Leslie Graves and Michael Graves. Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you've been together for 14 years, married for 11. However, there have been some monumental significant changes throughout the course of your marriage, which has caused some monumental significant troubles within your marriage. So we're going to start with you, Mrs. Graves. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Well, me and Michael got together off the chat line, mm -hmm. and what we started was very different from the previous relationships that I had, and I found that intriguing. Well, the opposite that we had grew us here today. Okay. Well, what happened? Um, we stopped going out. He stopped being more attentive. You know, he became cheap, lazy, mm -hmm. don't want to go nowhere, don't want to do nothing. Reason. Cheap, um, lazy, and don't want to do nothing. Yes. <laughs> it just got boring. And I'm kind of the party girl. I like to go out, I like uh -huh. to have fun. You I like to be again. center of attention. I like to live life. Right. You know? And, and he's not living life. He's living on the couch. He's living on the couch. <laughs> Mr. Gray, I'm, I'm your wife says care. you're living on the couch. Is that I'm true? I'm taking care of responsibility. That's taking care of responsibility. I have a job where I work anywhere up to 20 hours a day. Well, 16 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Let me take that back. I'm gone all the time, but I'm home when I can be. Uh, I'm in the transportation industry. I'm a truck driver. Uh, recently moved over to dispatching position, so right. now I'm home more frequently. Right. Uh, Miss Graves is right about one thing. She definitely is a party girl. Right. When, I met, her, when I met her, uh, we had a totally different lifestyle. She uh -huh. likes to go out a lot. She right. likes to drink, party. She used to be part of a motorcycle social club where she was gone all the time. I have, this is a whole new thing for me. Yeah. Women in motorcycle clubs, it's become a common theme out yeah, here. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's a new, that's all right, you know, but well, I'm just saying. Well, it, it's all right, but when you leave at 5 o'clock p.m. one day and don't come home until 5 or 6 o'clock a.m. the next day... It's a problem. It's a problem. It's, do you, you do know? that, Mrs. Graves? Well, first Tell off... Tell the truth. Yes, I did. Court. Tell and the truth. he knew of it, and he had the opportunity to go and hang out with me because we can bring our spouses. He chose not to. He don't like to do nothing. He, I, he would let me go, go, go out, go out, have fun with your friends, go do the party thing, go do the club thing. Just come home to me. Say, let me let me say this. I understand that you went through a significant change throughout the course of your yes, marriage, I was which you believe which you believe caused a lot of friction. And I want you to tell me what that is. Oh, I had the weight loss surgery back in 2009, and he told I was 409 pounds. And yes, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, 409 pounds, Your Honor. Uh, there's, there's a whole lot to go with that He told me when I lost loss. the weight, I done lost my mind, but yes, in reality, did. I gained some sense. She okay. lost, she okay. lost okay. half her mind. She you lost the common sense part. The way you, I do, I do. And, I have and the a way picture you look now? before and after. And I even brought the shirt that I wore in my Daisy Dukes. You were okay. Let's I was a Daisy big Dukes. woman, and these were my Daisy Dukes. Oh, wow. wow. I could put myself in one in one side of the like, you know, in one side. And this was the shirt, triple X. I will not take the weight I off. I will tell you this, though. You were beautiful both ways. Yes, yes. you were. And that's why I was very confident you on really, how I yeah, You know, you were beautiful both. That's a pretty way. Now, I, mean, I know you're happier the way you are now, but you, you were beautiful both ways. Your Honor, this comes with a price. It came with the price of almost killing her marriage off and her kids. Well, what changed she, when she changed? After she started getting real, real, starting to lose the weight, her head went jack in the box real quick. <laughs> she started her, her, First she, now, she was beautiful before. She was always confident, always beautiful, but she started getting that head where I couldn't tell her nothing. She wanted to go out with her friends every day, drink every day, party every, every day. day, and she did. And that caused a significant problem with the surgery. 
the smoking, the drinking. She had like six surgeries prior, I mean, right after that for perforated ulcers and all kind of medical problems. Mrs. Graves, from going after right back to the party. Surgery and weight loss. But, you were messing, you were. You fouling up that beautiful body? Let you me know tell you, though. Diana, he let, was your the Honor, reason no, why let I me tell you. Drink. Let, let me finish. Go she, ahead. She would, I would sit there and I would tell her. She promised me before the surgery we had to go through counseling. The doctor told her, told her and me, sat us down and said, your libido's going to go. You're going to get arrogant. Everything he told us that was going to happen. exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. Exactly no. what Did happened. Did your libido go? She got, she got big-headed. She wanted to go. Yeah. And there was an instant when we were at her mom's house at a barbecue in the backyard. And she was drinking. And she talking about how all these men now all of a sudden want to have sex with her because they looking at her and, ooh, you look good. And, ooh, you this and that. I'm sitting right next to her like, you know. So I grabbed you, the beer um, because I'm thinking she drinking too much and she talking too much. Oh, and me and her got a little no, struggle off, going. It wasn't I said, that you know I was what? drinking too much she and was. doing Hang all that. He wasn't paying was me no, never mind, okay? No. And all no, attention wait, wait. at the time was good attention no. for me. So at the time, he wasn't giving me the adequate attention that I was wanting. And so when I was getting it from other people, I, I wasn't feeding off it or I wasn't, yes, I wasn't was. responding to it. But it felt good just to be acknowledged. It felt good to be noticed. Because he... Oh, you look all right. Your okay. Honor. Your yes, Honor. That yes. ain't the case. Exaggerate lying. That's what she's doing right now. Exaggerate she exaggerate lying. Because what it was was I was still trying to maintain the family, but she was, she was, getting, she was getting a lot of attention, some negative, some positive, whatever it was. I've always loved her, big, small, whatever. I've never said anything... <laughs> When before her surgery, she she can never tell you that I've ever called her fat, complained about her weight or anything. Never did. If you see our marriage picture, she was big in our marriage picture, and I was smiling just as hard then. When she was going through her sicknesses and illness, I was right there with her. I still had the family to maintain, and she couldn't do it because she was sick. She was off work. Right. When she started getting all this attention, it wasn't that I wasn't giving her attention. It was that she wasn't getting. The same, the, all the woo woo that was going on. She now, wasn't now getting be that. honest, Mrs. Graves, that does tend to turn a person's head mm -hmm. when all of a sudden the whole world takes notice of what you look like. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me you didn't enjoy that just Oh, a it, bit. Was, it, it felt fantastic. And I, I, I ran with it. I did. I, yeah, she I got, ran with I did. it. Here, she ran with it, it. You know, for him to say that he was too busy maintaining the household, it, yeah, please. That's everyday living. That's life. You got to live it beyond just paying bills. And he wasn't even a good budgeter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, 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 so what you're saying is, though we do have to do what we do to maintain life, yes. we also have to live it as exactly. well during it. So that leads me to my next question is, my, my understanding is that you pretty much just stopped having sex with this guy after you lost the weight. After I did have the surgery, yes, it did go, you know, my, 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 uh, my libido. Yeah, uh, it was just gone. And I he didn't make it no better by, come service me, come give me some, hook me up. <laughs> I mean, there was no, there was no, no romance, intimacy, there was no, no romance, there was nothing. Just come and hook me up. So as I was saying, the living life that you were living didn't include much sex anymore, as Mr. Graves says. Is that accurate? Yes. Well, you know... Explain that to me. When we first got together, he was still involved with somebody, I was still involved with somebody, and we kind of kept it sexual. So it was his work schedule, my work schedule, it was just a, more of a hit and miss. So he was uh -huh. like the, you know, just the call... Hit it and, and quit it and go yeah, on home. Yeah, about your business. And so uh -huh. then we made it official. Once we made it official... It was still pretty much, you know, live, you know, in the room. But after I did have the surgery, you know, yes, it did go, you know, my, 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 uh, my libido. Yeah, object. it was just gone. Object. And he didn't make it no better by, come service me, come give me some, oh hook me up. <laughs> I mean, there was no, there was no, no intimacy, romance, there was no, no romance, there was nothing, just come and hook me up. Yeah, I'm Okay, not. Mr. Graves, what, what got, is your she comment? She's got a bad memory, because this, this, is, this is how it goes. After this surgery, 
She did do what she she was partying all the time, all the time, never home, gone from two o'clock in the morning to two in the afternoon. So after a while, my intimacy level with her slowed down because it's like, well, you're not here, what, right. you know. But as far as come service me and all that, she knows that's a joke. I used to do that as a joke. <laughs> but now, Miss 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 Not Right Now, right here. <laughs> Let me tell you about Miss Not Right Now. Her name is Miss NRN. Because he got whenever, his I ask, just... whenever I ask her Ooh. for intimacy, not right now. She not on right. her video I'm game. Not, not right now. you need to get the not WD-40 because right she's she... so tidy squeaking right now. Not, not, get not the WD-40. Miss Graves, Miss Graves, Miss Graves. She complain... is it, you, you complain of a lack of romance, but how is he to be romantic when you're not in the house? When he's there? Oh, no. I'm in the house. And when I'm in the house, Hello? I'm usually with the kids. And I'm, my kids are 4.0, all into sports, academically inclined, everything. Kudos so I stay, to you on that I one. stay I on them like white on rice. But this man right here, the two days that he was home, all he did was sleep. He went from the bedroom to the toilet, and that's in the same room. Yeah, and then he would go into the kitchen, make him a plate, eat in the in the bedroom, leave his plate next to him and go to sleep. What type of life is that? Yeah, Sleeping all day, eating all day. Mr. Graves? I'm gone all week long. I'm in a truck all week long. I come home, I come home to no dinner. I come home to no loving. It's no, how was your day? It's no, well, let me, let me, you know, let's, let's, let's go out and have, I take her out. When we go out, we go to dinner or a movie. That's not good Ask enough. Ask him the last time we That's went out. That's not good enough date. for her. Because she don't appreciate it. That's why I what don't. What it is is that he was so used to us just going to every buffet. That's his way of going oh out. Oh my God. Anytime we go somewhere, it's got to be a buffet. <laughs> no, Your Honor, we go to a restaurant and it's not even a buffet, but this she man will make it a buffet and have three plates in front of him. <laughs> I mean, everywhere we go, it's got to be food. I can't eat like I used to. I can't even think about eating like I used to. So I like to dance. Yeah, I like I... to go out. I like to mingle. He don't like to do that. So in other words, if I'm not eating, we ain't gonna do nothing. I got a budget that even though she say I don't have, I gotta pay. I gotta pay the rent. I pay the utilities when we have them. I pay everything. Everything basically comes out of my check. Are you guys flush? I mean, is everything cool on that regard? Oh, no. Or is buying stuff a problem? Was Michael happier with Leslie when she weighed over 400 pounds? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Graves, you call him Take Back Mike because he is so cheap. Please give me an example of how cheap Mr. Graves is. Your Honor, we went shopping at the mall, and we bought some shoes and a couple of other items. He felt bad, or he thought about the money he could save, so he went back and took it back. I'm like, why did you take it back? Because I felt guilty. You know why I felt guilty? Because I got kids to feed, uh, rent to pay, car to payments. I got Close a budget. Top. I got a budget that even though she say I don't have, I got to pay. I got to pay the rent. I pay the utilities when we have them. I pay everything. Everything basically comes out of my check. Are you guys flush? I mean, is everything cool on that regard? Oh, no. Or is buying stuff a problem? Buying stuff is a problem because he don't like to give me no money. Wow. He's talking about all this money he making from Your being Honor, gone all the time. You say you checks. can't afford it. She keeps her own checks. I don't ask her for no money for nothing. Oh, no, that's take that money. She oh, keeps, no. she keeps no, her checks. No, I don't checks. make... I understand you brought a chart of your budget. Yes, I do. Of the, well, last let, let few, me see that. the last few months of what, what we've had to do. We don't have a car. My car broke down Tell on her my why way we don't to... Have a car, my car broke down on my way to work. Oh, you got fancy with it. It, uh, uh, well, yeah, kind of. Wow, <laughs> really? Now, that's our rent. Uh, right now, we're in a rental car that we have to share going back and forth to work. I pay $1,600 a month for that rental car. It's the car we came down here in, in fact. Now, Mr. Graves, you have got to be able to find a better solution than $1,600 well, a month in a is, rental car. This is car. the problem. I got to get to work every day. 
this rental car has cost me that much because the car is not actually that much, but when you don't have insurance, they add it together and it's double the price. So I'm paying that, trying to find a car. I have to, you we're get sharing. get a little hoopty for a thousand that's dollars. I'm, that's what I'm trying to do, but I, I pay all the bills. Ask her, how, ask her how, when's the last time she paid the rent? When she paid the utility. I pay you know all of what? that out we of my pay, check. I pay the bills. When I first got with him, I was paying everything because he didn't have a job. He was doing Ooh, little Lord odds and mercy. ends and whatnot, trying to make, you know, things happen. But he, I paid it for the first seven years. I did myself. Luckily now that he got this good paying job to where he can, let me kick back. Let me keep my little money. I understand. No, wait, hang on, Mrs. Graves. Mm. <laughs> let me kick back, but... You kicking back to the tune of negative $1,240 a month. Do you know what? how big a hole you're digging? He's Just because you want to kick know. back? Mm -mm. No, no there, it's not a together, he, it's baby. a we. You, know? no, you no. guys in this thing together. <laughs> no, he puts me in it when it's overbearing for him. But when he thinks he's got everything in control, he, he likes to micromanage me. So, you no. know, it's like it's kind of hard when you got somebody all in your ear telling me what I need to do. And then when I do it, oh, you ain't doing it right. Let me do it. And it's like that with the budget. When I took us out of debt, Wow. He told me when was this? In February <laughs> when I paid your photo two hundred dollar debt. Wow. He says, she did it one time Honor, out of eleven years, Your Honor. Uh, one time because the first she seven, gets us I took out care of, debt. of him. Anyhow, when I paid it this past February, I paid forty two hundred dollars of our past debt. Right. We were zero balance. By June of the same year this year, we were back to where we Why? started from because Why? he Why? quit his job. She wanted me to quit because she I, said well, ooh, she stop. said that it was hurting our marriage. And I, she calls me Mr. ATM. Ain't nothing hurt a marriage like not having a job. Well, no, I, no, I, I mean, talk about no, hurting a marriage. She calls me Mr. ATM because she said that's all I'm good for is paying the bills. That, that's all. When I, when I quit my job, it was circumstances around that. I had a good paying job. I, I got was you. Gone. I got you. I got you. I got you. I mean, 20 I know I was what's gone. happening. I know what's happening. What is the greatest obstacle facing Leslie and Michael's 11-year marriage? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Y'all lucky, because I enjoyed you. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Graves, what you need to do is be present at all times in the marriage. There is no point at which somebody gets to kick back and let the other person pull the wagon if that wagon is going under. You don't get to stop it. He held your hand when you were sick. He held your hand when you had the, had the gastric bypass. All those six unnecessary surgeries is a function of your failure to treat your body as the temple as it is. He held your hand. And now you're going to kick back and watch this man drown in, in, in a sea of debt Don't be looking at me. Your Honor, I did not. The judge is talking. No, 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 no. Now take back Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaks. I want you to make sure that you haven't begun to live a life that has lived past its expiration date. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't, yes, you, you, don't, don't let life expire on you while you're sitting on the couch. I know she's a little too much. I know she's a little over the top, but join her over the top every once in a while because there's joy there. And I know you work really hard and I know you get really tired, but every once in a while, you know, just take a good, strong sip of what she's got going on and enjoy <laughs> yourself. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Mr. <laughs> not right now, Ms. Not, not right now may give you some eventually. <laughs> y'all go on by yourselves yeah. and take care of yourselves. <laughs> this Thank matter you. is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> that was funny. I think he does need to do the most changing because when it comes down to it, a happy Wife is a happy life. Even though I don't agree with that, I believe I'm going to do more changing because if I don't, then we'll stay at a standstill and it takes a big man to get the plan together.